Good morning everyone. Welcome to today's morning meditation. Lovely to have you all. After that beautiful bhajan, with all our heart, with all the love, let us start our meditation with bowing down to mother, raising our kundalini and taking a vanda. Jai Shri Mataji. Let's begin by taking three great mantras followed by Shri Ganesha Mantra. Shri 
श्रीकाल की साक्षात श्री सहस्त्र शक्ति माता जी श्री निर्मला देवी नमो नम श्री माता जी थैंक यू फॉर आर सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन Thank you for giving us this opportunity today to meditate together with our beautiful collective. To start our day with such beautiful vibrations. We thank you, Mother. From the bottom of our heart for everything. Thank you, Shri Mata Ji. We love you, Mother. Let us start our meditation by keeping our attention at the Muladhar. And from our heart, let us pray to Shri Mata Ji, to Shri Ganesha. Oh Mother, please make me innocent and wise. Oh Shri Ganesha, please be kind and merciful. that you manifest your qualities within us of innocence, purity and wisdom. Mother, please make the Muladhar healthy and strong. Mother, give us the innocence of a child like a child has that glitter in the eyes, that shine of innocence. Raising our attention to the Swadishthana. Let us pray, Mother. Please give me the pure knowledge. Oh, Shri Mataji, 
please give me the pure desire, the pure knowledge. Yeah, let us take one mantra to Sri Nirmal Vidya. Om Tvameva Sakshat Sri Nirmal Vidya Sakshat Sri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Using a few strands of Kundalini to the top of our head. Let's settle our attention on our Nabi. Mother, please give me peace and satisfaction from within. Sri Lakshmi, Mother, please reside in my Nabi and manifest the qualities of peace and satisfaction. So that we, your children, can follow the path of Dharma, the path of righteousness. Mother, give us the strength to stand on truth. Next, we keep our right hand on our heart. Let us take one mantra to, sh to Shri Durga Mata Jagadamba. Om Saksha Shri Durga Mata Jagadamba Saksha Shri Adi Shakti Mataji Shri Nirmala Devi Namo Namaha Mother, please come in my heart. Mother, fill my heart with all the love and kindness and strength so that I can love myself and love the whole world. Mother, please come in my heart.
mother you are the responsibility in me shimata ji please take care of all my responsibilities ma please take away all the worries all the problems you take care of all the responsibilities jai shri mata ji taking our attention to the vishuddhi here let us pray to mother o oh, shri mata ji please come in my vishuddhi mother please take away all the guilt has been building up mother i am not guilty mother i am not guilty shimat ji please come in my vishuddhi so that i can communicate well with others others love my presence can massage our vishuddhi the left click away all the negativity keeping our attention on the agya let us keep our right hand on the forehead mother i forgive everyone and i forgive myself mother i forgive i forgive i forgive shri mata ji please come in my agya mother fill my heart with love and give me strength so that i can forgive others and forgive myself let us together take the lord's prayer our father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy 
will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and forever. Amen. Raising a few strands of Kundalini to the top of our head. Let us massage our Sahasrara whenever you feel ready. And here, from the bottom of our heart, with all the love, we say, Oh, Shri Mataji, thank you for our self-realization. Mother, please establish my self-realization. Mataji, please dip your feet into my sastrara. Slowly, whenever you feel ready, bringing our right hand back to our lap. With our attention on the Sahasrara, we listen to some music followed by Mother's talk.
साइड्स इन मूलाधारा ऑन दी चक्र मूलाधार चक्र एंड नॉट ऑन मूलाधार इन द मूलाधारा इस प्लेस द कुंडलिनी शी इज द मदर ऑफ श्री गणेश वी कॉल हर गौरी yesterday you saw the picture the drama how sri ganesha got his head of an elephant all these things have happened in another world there are many words of which we do of this world is a question of our awareness now we are at a human awareness and we have risen to a higher awareness which is called as the fourth dimension without sri ganesha is not possible as you know is the symbol of innocence within us this innocence never gets destroyed because it is eternal but it may happen that it will get covered with some clouds by our mistakes that we commit but once you get your realization your innocence is reestablished manifest and you become innocent your attention becomes innocent it is impossible to follow your religion either christ or mohammed sahab or jews if you do not have enlightenment this is one thing they did not realize because they were of a very high level people they did not know what is the condition of human beings as in the bible is written that if your right eye commit sins means go the against sri ganesh you take it away or if your right hand does anything wrong against sri ganesha then cut it off just imagine if christians were really practicing christianity they all would have been without eyes without eyes because it is said that if you make any mistakes you better cut out yourself christ said that you should do it and also for men he was very strict not for women so much so mohammed sahab thought that why not say about women also why not restrict them why only men so he made strict rules for women also in this case he said that you should hurt the woman or hit the woman or should try to restrict the woman that is on the husband but to do so the husband himself has to be an innocent person if he himself committed such mistakes then what right he has got to become strict with his wife or with his sister and the worst thing was for the jews when moses brought the 10 commandments he found that the jews were having a decadent society as they have now nowadays we have this decadent society in america in everywhere there are no morals and nobody talks of morality i feel that search is the only way where human beings can become innocent because jews were given what you call the sharia where it was if you are a thief cut your hands cut your nose cut this portion is 
impossible to follow them because they are too pure, deep, important. If you are Christians, you can't have two eyes, you can't have your hands. And if you are Muslims, your wives and your daughters and your sisters are always in danger. And if you are a Jew, then all kinds of punishments are written for them. On the contrary, only the saints have been punished. All the good people are punished because there are so many people who are extremely aggressive and sinful. And they also do not know that there is wrong with them, something very much against the dharma, against the religion. <coughs> with Sahaja only, you get the light of the Spirit. Sri Ganesha is the Spirit. And He incarnated on this earth as our Lord Jesus Christ. But all kinds of things have been done against such great people and they made separate religions. None of these books have separated differences from each other. For example, Muhammad Sahib has described about Moses, Abraham, Moses, Christ, Mother of Christ. So he never established another religion. He was talking about all the religions, woven together in one. But we have now people who do not believe that all the religions are born out of one tree of spirituality. They are not only fighting with others, but among themselves. In the name of God, they are killing so many people. Innocence is the source of love. Like small children, when you see them sweetly dancing, you feel such tremendous love for them. When you see a little baby, very sweet baby, smiling at you, you feel tremendous love for that child. If you do not respect your innocence, you can never be loving person. And without love, you cannot know the, the truth. Only thing is that we feel rather sometimes awkward, sometimes frightened to love the innocent also there are many children who are born realized because you all are now enlightened and there are so many great saints who want to be born but you have to be innocent yourself the countries where the children are not respected children don't want to be born there is a minus growth in those countries but in a country like India, where there is so much love for children, they want to take birth in India, though there is poverty. Children don't understand money and material things. They understand love. If you don't have love in your heart, Sri Ganesha cannot shine within you. Now the difference between a mother and a mother who is very angry with the children is this. Mother who loves her child enjoys everything she has to do for her child. While the mother who doesn't love the child feels that she's doing too much, she can't do it, it's too much. If you ask her what's the matter, she will say, I have to wash this, I have to clean this, I have to uh, look after this child, this, 
all kinds of stories. But a mother who is enlightened, when love all doing all that and enjoy it, she will have respect for her children. And she After that beautiful talk by mother, let us all complete our meditation by raising the Kundalini and taking a bandhan. Together we can do a small prayer to Shri Mataji that is the morning prayer before we set out to start our day with all the work and everything. So from the heart with all the love let us say Mother May I this day be what you'd have me be. Mother, may I this day say what you'd have me say. May I this day be a part and parcel of the whole. And may my thoughts be of a realized soul. May I this day have love for all mankind. Sri Mataji, Mother, be in my heart and in my mind. Jai Shri Mataji. Mother, you guide us. You do each and everything and manage my day. I do nothing. I know nothing. Just like a child, Grab my little finger and guide me. Thank you, Mother. Thank you again and again. Thank you, everyone, for joining me today's, for today's meditation. I hope you all have a beautiful, normal day ahead. Jai Shri Mataji.